What's going on guys? In this video we're going to talk about getting started with Z shell, you know, the uh, the shell that the cool kids use. And we're going to do it with the oh my Z shell configuration file extraordinaire, which I'll talk about the benefits of that uh, later. But Z shell itself, um, if you're not sure why you want to use it, just try it and then try going back to bash or C shell or whatever the default shell is in your operating system and uh, you're gonna start whimpering and crying and wishing for a Z shell. So you've got like things like extended globbing and automatic file uh, path expansion. So like if you mistype something or you type just the first letter um, separated by slashes, if it's an existing path, it will sort of try paths for you and expand them automatically. There's a million features it's got. It's really, really awesome. And the nice thing is, don't go reading through pro con lists. Just try it for a couple of days. It's one of those things where that you automatically start to love and that just makes your life way, way easier. The oh my Z shell configuration file basically saves you having to think about and configure a whole lot of things. But if you don't want that, I will tell you where to stop watching this video and you can just configure Z shell yourself using the built in wizard. Okay, as always, let's uh, make sure that we're updated and then we'll install Z shell and git which you'll need to pull down the oh my Z shell configuration file so let's go ahead and install Z shell and git so once you've installed those things you can simply look up which Z shell and that's your path and then we'll change your shell change shell s user bin Z shell It'll ask you for your password. And then all that's really done is change your shell here. So you can see for my user, you've got, you know, username, group ID, uh, go look in Etsy shadow, home directory, and my new shell, Z shell. Now you could manually start Z shell and go through the config file, sorry, the config process, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use Oh my Z shell and we'll sort of log out and back in. They have one of those curl into sh install processes so we're gonna just check out their website for a second and then you can see the instructions here. It's lovely. Oh my Z shell is amazing. You will never go back once you start using it. Um, especially if you do anything with, like working with git or working with other things uh, you know development work. It just makes it so much nicer. So the installer you'll see is one of the curl into sh things that we like to warn about. But um, we're just going to check out the actual code that this will run. So looking here we see that this is safe and we're fine. Um, it's over HTTPS so we're fine cloning and running this. So we will run this installer. We're happy with that even though it uses this this form, which often is a terrible idea. Okay, so, oh, I guess it uh, it would have, <laughs> didn't prompt me for, for changing my shell, so it's good that we ran this already, and our default shell already is Z shell. So now we really just have to log out and log back in, and that should do the trick. Let's open a shell, and there you can see the Z shell prompt. It's amazing. There's all kinds of features. Um, just very quickly, if I, uh, let's say, go to code, and I don't know, I'll say git init here. You can see I've just initialized a new git repository, and Z shell knows this because it sees the dot git directory, I'm guessing. And you can do things like, it's telling me I have unstaged changes. You see the little X next to the prompt. So if I just say um, add everything, we'll commit. Okay, now you'll see that this little X is gone because we have no unstaged or uncommitted changes. And if I touch tests, you can see now there's a new file and it knows that I need, I have some changes that I'm working on. Amazing, good stuff. And it has stuff like this integration with so many things. There's themes and plugins. Uh, if you need more details, just go to the website, check out the docs, or 
the themes. Uh, that's most likely what you'll be changing first. You know, find a theme you like. All the themes here, and you can just put that in your Z Shell RC, I think, to configure it. So I hope this gets you started with Z Shell. I would start by reading the, oops, uh, in our home directory, you'll have, just like a bash RC, you'll have a Z Shell RC. where, for example, the theme is set along with other things. So I would read through this thing and uh, that'll get you started. Enjoy. Thank you to the people who well started and contribute to Oh My Z Shell. Uh, it's amazing. And thanks to the people who wrote Z Shell. You're never going to go back after this. So enjoy.